Hello and welcome to another episode of Eat, Smoke, Drink. Today I am going to just take you through my experiences with, well, one of the, or a couple of the world's top um, roasters, 50 roasters. So uh, I'm not, I mean, I got sent this article and I really wanted to try them um, to see what it was like, to see if it disappoints, to see if it delivers. Now, not all coffee is created the same right? Um, just like whiskey, just like cigars, just like food. And I wanted to know, is it actually, is it actually worth the money or the effort of trying to find these top 50 roasters? Now, a while ago, I think I mentioned this in my last video, I tried DAC roasters from the Netherlands. I tried them in New Zealand. Someone gave them to me. I had no idea who they were and I really enjoyed their coffee. I thought that was really nice. Um, that was really, really good. And I found out later that they were one of the top 50 roasters in the world. And I thought, oh, okay, wow, that's actually, that was very early on in my um, coffee obsession. Um, you know, like before I just kind of drank the coffee and I didn't really tune my pour over. I didn't really tune my immersion. Um, I just kind of did it. And then very quickly after I discovered that actually tuning it brings out some more nuanced and subtle flavors of the coffee that was intended to be there. Otherwise, you might as well go to the supermarket, buy your super hard roasted Brazilian shit in mass production and just have that super bitter oven scrapings of a coffee um, because it makes no difference. When you buy specialty coffee, quote, specialty coffee, um, and some people call it third wave coffee, but it's just specialty coffee, there is a particular method that you really should be using to get the maximum flavor. So that's what I started doing and I found out, actually no, Coffee can differ so much in quality and style. So anyway, I arrive in Spain, and I'm not going to taste through the coffee because it's too friggin' many, um, but I'm going to just tell you my thoughts on them. And I found that Barcelona has Nomad Coffee, okay? Nomad Coffee, and they are an award-winning top 50 roasters of the world, and they export overseas, they ship everywhere, but, you know, obviously Spain is, you know, their local market. And um, they've got a line called Competition, okay? And then they have the more specific um, names that they come up with, FCO Pink, which is a short for whatever it is. They've got like, you know, Colombia Pink, um, Shambuku, whatever. Um, but Competition, um, I would presume, is kind of like a, like a flagship of that particular bean, at a higher quality, higher grade. I don't actually know. I asked them. They didn't really go through it that much. And I don't really care. I don't really care. I asked them for their best foot forward because they had a lot of different beans. And I asked them for their best foot forward. And the roaster themselves gave me all of this recommendation. And I got whatever was available. And this is called Fruity and Excellent. Um, so, so things that I noticed. What did I notice about the Top 50 roaster? Consistency of the roast profile. When you look at the bean, the beans tend to be more uniform in their roast profile. Okay, so sometimes when I've gone through um, smaller outfits or the outfits that are just I find not as good, I find their beans as well. Like some of them are really light, some of them are really dark. So either they put too much in their machine or their machine is not as good, or I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, but the, the roast profile of their coffee, you can see that they're not quite consistent. And two, because, um, you know, there is a fine line, I think, there is a fine line between light to medium, medium to roast. You know, you can go from light to medium and then suddenly it becomes medium roast and medium to dark and then suddenly it's dark roast and then you, there's no going back. Once you open the genie of the dark roast, you can't undo that shit, okay? And what I find is, for example, DAC roasters, I find that their beans plays in that danger zone of of like just a little bit like not this one but you know like the, the one that I've had before um it could be just just playing in that line of medium and dark but just expertly just a little bit over medium to give more kind of toast flavor but not bitterness and that's what I find with all of these and I've had them for weeks now and um, they've got a one-way valve they've got a ziplock and I find that 
some of them, not all of them, some of them are still puffing up every two or three days, um, expelling gas. And that's a good sign that they haven't been over roasted. The beans were fresh and then they weren't over roasted because what you'll find is when you over roast a shit out of beans, and you make it so, so, so dark, like, you know, like Italian bold roast. When you make Italian bold roast, there's not enough gas left in there because the gas has been all roasted out. Um, so it's a good sign to me when they're still expelling gas in the bag. And, you know, you come down in the morning in the kitchen and one of them was all puffed up and you can smell that overnight it's been puffing out some smells. That's a fantastic sign for me. So I always, I always ziplock it. I always squeeze that you know squeeze the air out and then in the morning or in a couple of days later i come back and it is all puffy and gassed up and you know and uh yeah so that's that's quite a that's quite cool to, to see that that it hasn't been roasted to death but in terms of price versus utility very important with with everything you know unless you've got endless amounts of cash i mean i find I find that um, they're actually not that expensive comparatively. Yes, they are a bit more, but it's one of those things. Um, the jump in quality is massive for the jump in versus a jump in price. So the jump in price is very small, just a, a few euros more per bag, just a couple, a few more euros, maybe five or six euros more per bag. But the jump in quality and consistency is really, really good. Um, every single one of these are so different in the nose and in the taste. It's unbelievable, it's unbelievable. Um, and also it's one of those issues as well where when you've got economy of scale, you're getting a shitload of orders, you have the confidence to order the great beans, the expensive beans, knowing you'll move them because your reputation precedes you, right? Which means that you can order a giant shipment of high grade, high points coffee beans knowing that you will sell it, you don't have to fear. You don't, you're not a startup that's just like, oh shit, if I order 50 kilos of this bean, I might not be able to sell it, it might expire, and then you know, I might, you know, you don't have that fear. And I think it's one of those things where once you've made your name and you're in that top tier, everything falls into place and you can start getting better and better beans as well. So it's a really hard balance, I think. I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying that these are way better than everything else, but they certainly are a different caliber to most beans I try. Like, you know, for example, um, in Mexico, I found, I tried, I think, four different roasteries or five different roasteries, a couple of, you know, just your street side roaster where you have a coffee and then three other specialist roasters. And um, look, they were, like, the, the, the specialist roasters, they weren't that bad. One of them was really, really good. Um, the other two was okay one of them was so so but the street side ones the street side ones were just fucking horrendous i mean i mean look as far as coffee goes that's fine right like you can drink it caffeine you get that coffee flavor hit but really they were just like over roasted cheap beans you can taste it the complexity isn't there they have to over roast it because the bean just isn't that good quality these are completely different like these yeah these to me are next level um totally next level type of beans and roasting styles and roasting profiles and i would say that so far i have tried two i've tried two top 50 roasters so far and they have been just above the rest just just above the rest right anyway um i just want to give you my thoughts on that um i just want to give you my thoughts on that I am going to Croatia next and I am going to get shipped to me another top 50 roaster from Croatia. Um, they're based in Zagreb. I'm actually going to split, but I've made arrangements for them to ship it to my Airbnb and then, you know, all that shit. Um, yeah, just to, just to try that out as well and see, see what the, you know, see if, if my kind of theory on the top 50 roasters is, is, is real, if the hype is real. I mean, so far I'm thinking that it's real. The hype is definitely real, um, you know. But then in saying that, you know, I have a couple of I have a couple of Nestor Lasso over there, and I'm telling you now, I'm becoming a huge fan of Nestor Lasso. Probably 
one of my top three farmers right now that I'm that I'm obsessed with. Um, I've got two Nestor Lassos, two, I think I did a video about that, distinctly different, but man, the, the, the bean is just phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. Anyway, until next time, make sure you eat, smoke, drink, and caffeinate, um, and let me know if you have tried the top 50 roasters before, um, and your thoughts on it, but if not, hopefully this video has been a little bit informative, I know it's a, a little bit um, different, I'm not tasting or drinking or eating or smoking anything, but there's no way I can taste all of these. It's just, there's no way, you know. Oh, and um, the bag is compostable as well, you know, which is, I guess it's a plus. I guess it's a plus. Um, I mean, I don't really give a shit. I mean, I, you know, just throw it in the rubbish bin and it'll just sit there for the next thousand years. But, you know, apparently people throw shit in the ocean and dolphins end up sucking on them. <laughs> Who knows? You know, until next time, I should eat, smoke, drink. Cheers.